Crater Lake Oregon was a place of awe and mystery to the native people. The native peoples describe the catastrophic eruption of Mount Mazama and the creation of Crater Lake in one of their legends. Their legend of a raging war between two great volcanoes, Mount Mazama and Mount Shasta, parallels the geological history of Crater Lake, in one of the oldest surviving stories in the world. Mount Mazama erupted almost 7,700 years ago, creating the caldera that holds the stunning Crater Lake. The eruption was 42 times more powerful than Mount St. Helens, and reduced a peak of over 12,000 feet to the 8,157 feet it is today. The native people must have lived in the region as early as 7,700 years ago, because artifacts such as obsidian tools, spear throwers, and moccasins have been found beneath the Mazama ash layers to the north and east of Crater Lake. The cataclysmic eruption of Mount Mazama 7,700 years ago started from a single vent on the northeast side of the volcano as a towering column of pumice and ash that reached some 30 miles high. Winds carried the ash across much of the Pacific Northwest and parts of southern Canada. Indeed, archaeological evidence suggests that human beings witnessed this cataclysmic event, and shamans in historic times forbade their people to view the lake. In fact, the natives offered no information about the lake to pioneers who explored the area for 50 years without seeing it. The long history of volcanism at Mount Mazama suggests that this volcanic center will be active in the future. Future eruptions will likely occur within the caldera and probably beneath the water's surface. The story of the eruption evolved into a Native American myth that was translated to English. 20th century geologists found the myth to be an accurate description of the development of a caldera, nearly 250 generations ago. The climactic eruption of Mount Mazama devastated the terrain for tens of kilometers from the volcano, sent pyroclastic flows as far as 43 miles down every valley heading on the volcano, and produced ashfall throughout much of the Pacific Northwest and parts of southern Canada. The eruption occurred in two phases. As the eruption proceeded, Circular cracks, or ring vents, opened around the peak. Activity continued to feed numerous eruption columns through these more dispersed vents, which produced highly energetic pyroclastic flows. Deposits from these flows partially filled the valleys around Mount Mazama with up to 300 feet of pumice and ash. As more magma erupted and the magma reservoir nearly emptied, the collapse of the central portion of the volcano progressed resulting in an 5 to 6 miles diameter and 0.7 miles deep caldera. Since the eruption ended, erosion has exposed cross-sections through the thick valafil deposits where colored layers are now visible. The lighter material on the bottom erupted before, and has higher silica content than the darker material toward the top. This is recognized as a type example of a deposit that originated from a compositionally zoned magma chamber. The chamber emptied from top to bottom, and magma with higher silica content erupted before more primitive, lower silica magma. In Roman mythology, the word volcano comes from the island of Volcano in the Mediterranean Sea near Sicily. Centuries ago, the people living in this area believed that the island was the chimney of the forge of Vulcan, the blacksmith of the Roman gods. They thought that the hot lava fragments and clouds of dust erupting from volcano came from Vulcan's forge, as he beat out thunderbolts for Jupiter, king of the gods, and weapons for Mars, the god of war. Vulcan, the god of fire, was said to have made tools and weapons for the other gods in his workshop at Mount Olympus. Throughout history, volcanoes have frequently been identified with Vulcan and other mythological figures. Scientists now know that the smoke from volcanoes, once attributed by poets to be from Vulcan's forge, is actually volcanic gas naturally released from both active and many inactive volcanoes. Native American people have lived in the area near Mazama for at least 15,000 years, and the surrounding vicinity was occupied by indigenous populations when Mazama resumed activity about 8,000 years ago, following about 20,000 years of dormancy. If you know of another historically accurate legend nearly 8,000 years old, let me know in the comments. Though the narrative has several slightly different iterations, commonly the legend goes that the spirit of Mount Shasta saw a beautiful Klamath woman, the daughter of a chief, and became angry when she refused his offer of immortality if she would be his consort. Furious, 
the spirit emerged from Mazama and threw fire upon the people beneath the mountain, and his rival stood on Mount Shasta, trying to defend the people against M.T. Mazama's fury. As the earth shook and volcanic rock fell from the sky, two spirits sacrificed themselves to Mount Mazama's crater, and the spirit was able to force his rival back into the volcano, which then collapsed on top of him a torrential rain followed, filling in the hole left by Mazama's collapse to form Crater Lake. The spirit wanted peace and tranquility to cover up this dark pit, so he filled it with beautiful, crystal clear blue water. Indeed, a caldera eruption like Tees is a massively violent event. We're not talking about the quiet calderas in shield volcanoes like in Hawaii, which love erupting and frequently pour burning lava all over the landscape, but generally stick to slow lava flows, that allow people to get out of the way. We're talking about the kinds of eruptions that happen fast, big and explosively, such as the Toba eruption. These kinds of eruptions hurl ash and pumice so high, and so far that the landscape for hundreds or thousands of miles around is blanketed in thick, choking ash. These eruptions bury landscapes for hundreds of square miles in pumice fields tens of feet thick, and whose traces are still fresh and clear more than 7,000 years later. Northwest native peoples also told legends about the fiery Mount St. Helens to the north. In fact, a native name for the mountain, means, smoking mountain. According to one legend, the mountain was once a beautiful maiden. When two sons of the great spirit fell in love with her, she could not choose between them. The two braves fought over her, burning villages and forests in the process. The great spirit was furious, so he struck down the three lovers and erected a mighty mountain peak where each fell. Because she was beautiful, her mountain was a beautiful, symmetrical cone of dazzling white. To the south, Mount Hood lifts his head in pride, but Mount Adams wept to see the beautiful maiden wrapped in snow, so he bends his head as he gazes on St. Helens. In fact, other Native American legends abound with descriptions of Mount Hood and Mount Adams battling for the Mount St. Helens maiden. Events attributed to the volcano include hurtling of hot rocks from gaping holes, sending forth streams of liquid fire, loss of formerly high summits, and choking of valleys with rocks. In fact, these are accurate descriptions of Mount Hood's reconstructed activity over the past 2,000 years. To put the historical timeline in context, Kenuic Man, or the Ancient One, the name given to the skeletal remains of a prehistoric Paleo-Indian man found on a bank of the Columbia River in Kenuic, Washington state in the same region. Subsequent research on the bones indicated that the skeleton is approximately 8,690 years old, making the Ancient One among the oldest and most complete skeletons found in North America, and about 1,000 years older than the Mount Mazama eruption, along with the Spirit Cave mummy from Nevada. What's more, the Fort Rock sandals are a distinctive type of ancient fiber footwear from southeastern Oregon. They were found beneath a layer of volcanic ash, which was later identified as coming from the eruption of Mount Mazama. Their ages range from about 10,400 to 9,100 years old, making Fort Rock sandals the oldest directly dated footwear in the world, and much older than the Mount Mazama eruption. <laughs>